Hello, Nomad's Sculpt, and this video is about the Lace tool. So you can do a lot of cool stuff with a, a Lace tool, not only pottery. So all the objects here, except this sphere, uh, is a Lace object. Uh, so you can do frames, also a, lot, a little bit hard surface stuff. Um, yeah. Okay, let's start with a new scene. So the sphere I don't need. And here um, I use the front view and I lock the view. So then we can uh, only see this direction. So, And um, here at the top, top right menu is the lace tool. And I select the path. So draw only a straight line. So at the bottom there's a wireframe. You can see now your mesh and uh, you can adjust the curve so t so you can create uh, such pottery things here. Um, so an uh, important thing with the lace here is so I turn this to additive and change the opacity a little bit. So you see here at the top there's a hole function and the hole function yeah it's a hole through the complete mesh so um, now you can look through it it has no no bottom part so when you go back and you want a such a, a hollow uh, ways so you have to sculpt inside so something like this so this is now a ways with a um, yeah, bottom and not a hole here like this this is different so yeah Okay, so I delete this one and um, let's draw other one. And wireframe is on, fine. Um, so you can change here the divisions. So I not I pin this menu, menu, and here you can change the divisions. Yeah, and bring it, for example, to a division four. So now it looks like this. And now it's possible to change the, the mesh in the form you want. Maybe like this. So, and now you get something like this. Yeah. And here, a little thing um, yeah, by the side here when you validate this object here. Um, you can try, um, so <laughs> I trim the bottom off, hole filling off, so when you trim this and use multi-resolution and subdivide it one time, you can create a division 8, so um, something like this here because division 8 is not possible um, so yeah only by the side so okay this object here when you look at it and with a gizmo the gizmo is now in this direction so when you change the um, the pivot here or 
when you rotate, you can here set like uh, set a, a angle, forty five degrees. So you can rotate this object that's uh, that it is aligned to the fuse, and then change the pivot and rotate the pivot also 45 degrees. So now the object is fine. Here in the gizmo settings you can bake now this whole thing and now the symmetry axes are correct. So when you use here now the x-plane and activate the symmetry you can scale this object in this direction So something like this and yeah you can do funny things um, maybe here you splitting sorry I, I check my splitting so where split so let's split the mesh here and here and then join it together and mirror it from the right to the left so now when you cell mask it I need a better position That's not enough. Maybe like this. So now create such forms. Yeah. A little bit for hard surface or some some things um, so it's done from a lace object so yeah um, let's do other thing so lace so So I change here the smooth shading to off and the topology maybe to 6. So that's something like a screw head and so it's possible to create such forms here. I turn the wireframe on. And here in the hierarchy, it's possible to clone the object. Here, when you clone it without validating, so clone the object, and now you can. Sculpt with a yeah with the same center and you see different settings. So you get something like this, and the next thing is you can clone it again. And go further. So something like this. Yeah. So and change the topology here. Then you have a such a nice bolt yeah so here this the divisions are very important I think um,
because you, you can do here a lot of things um, and different shapes and, and forms in a very fast way. So, yeah. So a last thing um, here, for example, we got a sphere and we want to sculpt a, a lace object on the side here. Then I create a lace object. So like this and the um, here the, the the center here bring it uh, to the center and to the to the center and yeah you can adjust here the pivot to the bottom and now when you use the transform tool you can bring this object to the position um, where you want it on the on the other object so and now it's possible to to create here your lace in position so you can adjust the view a little bit and change the topology if you like not just the post subdivision so So now we can use the hole. And the gizmo I don't know why the gizmo changed here, but um, um for this I think we have to adjust it manually. So now we can change the scaling a little bit or the complete thing. And for such things here, when we validate it, uh, it's nice to use the multi-resolution. So now you get smoother shapes or, yeah. Yeah, I could play the whole day with this. <laughs> so let's uh, use the insert tool and instance. Yeah. Insert instance. Ah. So fun. <laughs> okay, that's it. Have fun with sculpting, Joe.